For his part, the president took his reelection campaign to Florida today. He hammered away at what will be one of his main themes against Governor Romney, that high income earners should pay more in taxes. Nora O'Donnell is at the White House tonight. Nora. Scott, today may mark the first day of the general election campaign in some regards, but the Obama campaign team says that little has changed. They say they've been focused like a laser on Mitt Romney for a long time, even running some television ads against him. And today we learned in part how the president is planning to frame this debate. We've got to choose which direction we want this country to go. In. Do we want to keep giving those tax breaks to folks like me who don't need them, or to give them to Warren Buffett, he definitely doesn't need them. Or Bill Gates, he's already said, I don't need them. Or do we want to keep investing in those things that keep our economy growing and keep us secure? That's the choice. Here's what the president is talking about. People who make their money from investments like stocks and bonds pay a tax rate of 15%. That's about what Mitt Romney paid in 2010. Billionaire investor Warren Buffett says it's unfair and wealthier Americans should pay more. The president is calling for a tax of 30 percent on incomes above a million dollars. The Senate will consider the so-called Buffett rule on Monday. Mr. Obama says making wealthier Americans pay more in taxes is an issue of fundamental fairness. In this country, prosperity has never trickled down from the wealthy few. Prosperity has always come from the bottom up. Today in Florida, a state he won by less than 3 percent in 2008, the president finished this policy speech with a campaign-style crescendo. Here in America, we look out for one another. Here in America, we help each other get ahead. Here in America, we have a sense of common purpose. Here in America, we can meet any challenge. Here in America, we can seize any moment. And President Obama is making an increasing number of stops in battleground states. We counted 51 stops since he announced his campaign. The campaign's on. Thanks, Nora.